Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video I'm going to show you a very simple to use program that you can use to record your screen in Windows 11. The program that I'm going to talk about in this video is called a Power Rec. You're going to have of course download links in the description down below. This is how the program looks. It has a very simple interface. So you have some info buttons in the right side, account, customer service and also settings which we're going to talk about a bit later on in this video and also help which will help you see more info about the program, tutorials, also the forum you're going to be able to send feedback see the program version and also check for updates it is recommended to check for updates every time you open up the program so you are sure that you're using the latest version in the left side you have some options you can record the screen you can record a certain window you can only record audio and you can only record webcam i'm going to use the record screen option and you can use the full or the custom if you click on custom you're going to be able to select your own custom area to record your screen or if you click on the this arrow you can select region as we selected it now when we clicked on custom or you can click on fixed region and they will automatically set a region for us so for example full HD or HD which is 720p you can use these arrows to move around the recording area into the system sound section you can select your audio input so we have system sound selected so everything that we do on our system will be heard on the recording or you can select microphone but you can also select system sound and microphone and this is also a nice thing. You can also record without audio. And if you click on settings, you can see more settings about audio. You can select your default speakers and your default microphone. You can also enable noise cancellation and audio boost if you have a lower end microphone. If you click on webcam, you can select your webcam also and you will have the option to record with your webcam as well. You can click on default watermark to make sure that you are selected on the option no default watermark and then click on OK. You also have auto stop, which you'll be able to use if you want to automatically stop the recording. So for example, you don't want to record more than 10 minutes or you don't want to have a file larger than a value that you set here. And when the recording is completed, you can set the program to exit, the computer to go to sleep or the computer to shut down. You can do this only this time or always. These are some interesting settings that you can change up yourself. If you click on task scheduler, you can set some tasks. So for example, if you want to set set a certain time on the day that the recording would start and you can also loop it. You have a whole bunch of settings here and these are very intuitive and you can easily set up a task scheduler or if we use other words, it is basically a scheduled recording. You can set the repeat, the days, the recording time, the stop time, what the program should record. So the recording settings, what should the program do when the recording is completed and also the name of the task. It is really, really simple. Let's just click on record to start the recording. You can start or stop the recording by using the F7 key on your keyboard. You have here the recording section and down below you can see the pause button, the stop button, the time that you've recorded, the fact that the microphone is working and you also have spotlight, take a screenshot, you can annotate and you can select auto stop even if you've started the recording and you can even see the main panel if you want when you are recording. I'm going to stop the recording for now and after you stop the recording you will be able to see the recording in the program. The program is good because it also has some simple edit features. So for example, you can set the speed of the video. You can also click on edit and as you can see, you can drag the, to trim the video. So you have some parts that you don't want to be in the video. You can set remove watermark or add watermark. You can add your own custom watermark. You also have the advanced editor, which will bring you their different software, which will be a power rec video editing program that you can use if you want to edit your video in a more advanced way. Once you're done with it, you can click on export and select the location where you want your recorded video to be saved. I'm going to select desktop and then click on save. The video will be automatically exported to my desktop and then click on OK. If I'm watching the video, I can see that the video is recorded using the settings that I've selected and that is really cool. Let me show you some other settings that you can use when recording with a power rack on Windows 11. You can click on settings and you have here settings regarding output. So for example, you can change the output format from MP4 to another format, the resolution, the frame rate. So for example, if you're recording gaming, you can set the 60 frames per second. The bit rate, you can select a higher bit rate, but make sure to note that this will use more computer resources. Settings regarding the audio output format. You can also show mouse cursor. This is automatically selected, but 
but you can also show mouse area and you can set a size of a certain yellow circle that will show up when you're recording. Also record mouse clicks. Left button is a red circle and right button is a blue circle. And here you can also customize the hotkeys. You can select the option auto split the recording file. So if you want to have multiple files that are a smaller dimension, you can use this option. You can use the beep on start recording if you want. And you can also set a custom countdown before recording. You also have some interesting and useful features and options that you can enable from here. So for example, hide desktop icons or auto hide the taskbar, prevent video from freezing and so on and so forth. You can also set the program to always run as administrator and also run the program when Windows starts. So if you want to do that, you can easily enable it. Action when closing main panel would be to exit the program by default and that is really good. And the floating toolbar, you can select to hide it when recording. You will also have the option to upload the video to a certain um, platform. So for example, YouTube, and you can select the language of the program. As I've said at the beginning of the video, this is a very simple to use program with not many options, but I think these are enough options to have a quality recording. And of course, note that you can use this to record your screen or even to record gaming clips if you want on Windows 11. So go ahead and check out the power rec from the links down below in the description and let me know down below in the comments what you think about this program. Go ahead and give it a try into your day-to-day -day recordings on your screen or gaming if you want. I'm looking forward to hearing from you opinions about this software. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.